Because a lot of our young people can start right now accumulating their community service hours. And this is one way to do it. And of course, if you are a caregiver or someone else who likes to get community service hours, you can this, they're ready. All you have to do is pick one up before you leave. And the last thing I want to say is that the uh, Zetas are going to, as it does every year, recognize Woman of the Year. This time we are focusing on mother because the black woman is the mother of civilization. So if you would like to nominate yourself, a family member, a friend, your grandmother, mama, Okay, whoever you want to nominate, we have nomination forms here. We're going to ask you to take one of these with you and just simply just fill it out and turn it in uh, the form itself by, May, by March the 8th. And then the rest of the information that have like an interview, we'll have to go through an interview process to determine exactly who would be the woman of the year. Maybe you might decide to have one or two. But anyway, if you're interested, if you'd like to uh, acknowledge someone who you know has been been phenomenal, they've overcome a lot of di uh, disparities, difficulties, to raise a beautiful family uh, who's contributing and giving back to the community. Those are the kind of people we're looking for. We want somebody we can clone. We want somebody who can tell everybody else, this is how I did it, you can do it too. My children are doing great in school. My children are going on. They're, they're doing for self, so they can also uh, give, be role models for others, okay? So that's all I have to say. Any questions about any of the things I have announced? Okay, we're good. Uh, where's my little, oh, that's it. My moderator. Trying to get out of the way. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, what time is it? It's 12 o'clock. And we're supposed to eat at what time? 12.30. So could we just skip the game? Even though we... We want to get you out in a timely manner. Yeah. Can you explain the game? Well, we can ex and, <laughs> excuse me. I can explain that it's called life course game. And what you do is you roll the dice. Well, each person has to take a color, and depending on your uh, the color that you take. For instance, let's say you take red. That might mean that you come from a family that has a father and a mother in it. Uh, you have a the usual. Uh, you go. Your mother goes to prenatal care. She's like everything right. That's the red person. The red who has a red man on the game. Someone else may have blue. They may be the ones whose father is not present, but the mother is. So it just depends. It's a different profile for each color that you have. The walk of life that you're going through. And all we're saying is that once you go through this, you'll have an idea of what your culture, what your, what your uh, background has to do with your outcome, with your health, okay? But uh, I think just to expedite time, we'll go on and have our uh, Survival strategies person come up, and then after that, shortly we have lunch. Is that, is that cool, everybody? Okay. Oh, Vitality Nutrition would be uh, Freya. I'll be underneath the panel. Pamela Joyner, Darlene Lockhart, and I don't know if Sarah Crawford wants to say anything. She can, because I only say that because of the eating for two. And, you, and Sarah Rogers. But mainly uh, Pamela Joyner, Freya Marani, and Darlene Lockhart. So we'll, we'll start with Shireen first and then go into our panel. Thank you. To, to get these little survival starter kits that I prepared for everybody. The, the reason for the survival starter kit is to, I want to put it on your mind in case of a disaster, what are you going to do? Uh, every year we're here, and I mean, I mean, to, but this past, but a week ago, there was people stuck down in snow and ice, but <laughs> couldn't get their cars off the freeways for about a week. Uh, I think, you know, so we've heard about all this, these different types of uh, weather that's coming through that can cause you to be stuck within your house, that can cause you to be stuck on the road. <laughs> all of these type of things that we need to think about. Um, if you open up your kit, there you're going to see, it's going to say, prepare to survive disaster. 
It's a little card. And so this is something that you can just, it's a basic survival kit that you can start just with what you have in, from, uh, out of these baggies that you can add on to, okay? Uh, on there you have, you want to have water for uh, one gallon per person per day, food non-perishable and a can opener, uh, battery powered radio and extra batteries, flashlight, a first aid kit, a whistle, because you might have to blow that. <laughs> If things get really bad, <laughs> uh, like, like what was that, Rose on the Titanic, <laughs> that's how she got found. Uh, a dust mask or a cotton t-shirt to help uh, filter the air. Um, extra clothing and blankets, matches in a waterproof container, cash and coins. You, you, you did see a dollar or whatever that was. Yeah, okay, and don't, don't try to spend it. Cause <laughs> <laughs> but you want to have, uh, I was taught as a young girl, uh, within the Nation of Islam, we're taught to be prepared for a disaster. And one of the things that my minister will always say is that you want to have at least $100 saved in a little, you know, just, I don't know, in a little envelope up under the mattress or something like that. You want to have at least $100 because if you need to get to the gas station, you know, but you're out of money. Otherwise, you know, I mean, extra money, uh, outside of that $100, you can say, well, hey, I do have this stash, or they, they you know, uh, Walmart, they, they cleaning the shelves, and we need food bad, well, we can run to Walmart real quick and try to, keep, you know, pick up some of the leftovers. You will always have something on hand. Uh, if you have to evacuate and leave and go to another, city or for, for whatever reason there might be a tornado i mean not a tornado but an earthquake uh, or a flood or you know whatever you can say well hey at least i do have a hundred dollars okay when the power goes off that places can't take credit cards but okay. they'll take your cash excellent excellent exactly because when the when, when stuff if, 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 it, if the stuff should hit the fan <laughs> you you will not be able to go to an atm Okay, they're gonna be like we only take the cash because they're not gonna be they're not gonna want to rely on electronic money. They'd rather have it right in their hand. Okay, so keep those things in mind. Uh, and also, I was taught that you always should have at least a half tank of gas in your car at all times. Okay, so you know if, if you only have a a, a, a a spit load of gas in your tank and then they say <laughs> and they're saying that you know hey uh, you know we need you to come and pick up your children right now from school how are you going to get there you got to have something you want you don't want to have to stop and go and get gas my mother she was pregnant <laughs> with me and my father had to stop and get gas before he could take her to the hospital thank god i waited but you know, I'm just saying, so you, <laughs> you know, so, you know, thank God that, uh, you know, you just, this is just to inform you of some things that you can do, so if something should happen, you will not be without. You want to always be prepared. Uh, so in the baby, you have some things uh, like playing cards, because it also talks about how you want to have some entertainment, especially if you have children. You don't want to be, you know, if, 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 if there's some, if there's, you know, the TV, they can't have hit the TV because the electricity out. They can't play Nintendo games or anything. You want to have some cards, something that they can play with because you don't want them, you don't want them to be focused on a disaster. You want them to be able to, if a child is playing with something, they're not focused on a disaster. Okay, they're not focused on my stomach is growling right now. You can say, baby, you know, play with your doll until mommy can get something else, or it buys you time. Because <laughs> children's attention spans are like this, okay? So you want them to always be entertained. And you want to entertain yourself. You might be uh, really depending on, on those cards. 